we have a lot of people who ask whether they can represent themselves in court, especially on a charge that you may think is not that serious. You may think you just want to save time and money and do it yourself. Or maybe you've done some research and you think that you can reach the same result as a lawyer. While you certainly have the right to represent yourself, there's a reason why the saying, a person who represents themselves as a fool for a client has been around for so long. I've represented several lawyers over the years, and there's a reason why they decide not to handle the case themselves. If they aren't willing to take that risk, even with a legal education, you certainly need to think twice before you try to represent yourself. Representing yourself means more than just going in and telling your story to the judge. You're going to be expected to follow the same rules of evidence and procedure as a lawyer who's gone to law school and has experience in the courtroom. That means you might not even be able to tell your whole story because you don't know the proper way to do so in court. Another big disadvantage is perspective. Experienced criminal defense lawyers see the same type of cases and issues go through the process on a regular basis, and they know what to expect. They know whether an offer to resolve a case is a good one or a bad one, and they know what to focus on to convince a judge and a prosecutor to offer a favorable resolution. Another problem with perspective is that you're not the best person to look at your case objectively, which is what the judge and the prosecutor are going to do. That's a big reason why even experienced criminal defense lawyers will hire another lawyer to represent them if they're ever charged with an offense. They know they can't evaluate their case objectively and make the best decisions on how to proceed. In my opinion, the most important reason why you don't handle your own case is that no matter how smart you are or how much research you do, you're not going to be aware of all the consequences that flow from a conviction. And some of those you unfortunately don't find out about until it's too late. For example, you might find out that your plea caused your license to be suspended or may prevent you from getting a license. You also might find out that you owe additional costs or fees. The judge and the court don't have to tell you that, and they generally don't. By the time you find out, it's usually too late to fix the problem. So give yourself the best shot at obtaining a great outcome by hiring an experienced criminal defense attorney who has experience handling cases like yours. We've handled hundreds of criminal cases over the years, and we'll be glad to talk to you about yours. Give us a call today.